Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk about NFC tags and uh, we, we all know them, you know, you, you put them over and, and they automate a task or whatever it is embedded in them. But what if you don't want to pay $1.50 for one of these tags? What do you do then? Well, it turns out that uh, we have a lot of NFC tags just laying around. For example, this uh, Chase credit card has a pay pass and any um, credit card that has a pay pass you'll be able to use it to automate some tasks for free. How does it work? Basically every NFC tag has an ID. What that does for us is we're able to tell the phone, oh, wherever you see this ID tag just automate whatever task we give you to. So let me demonstrate this. Let's uh, let's uh, launch this NFC retag, and I'm going to have it scan the credit card. Now it notices that is it's a new tag and it has this UID, and I'll tell it to add the tag. I'm going to call it Bluetooth. and I'm going to give it an activity and the activity will be uh, Bluetooth and we're going to do a toggle we're going to click OK now it's saved now whenever I go over this it will toggle the Bluetooth and you noticed the Bluetooth disappeared. If I go again it will ask me do you want to turn on the Bluetooth? I, I, I'll tell it yes. So as you can see this is a really easy way to get NFC tags for free. Basically this uh, this credit card expired and uh, what uh, I can do, I can put it wherever I want and have it as my uh, ID tag. In fact, I could actually cut this if I knew exactly where, where the uh, chip is and just uh, trim it to fit a little smaller. So uh, watch out for my review for these tags. These are the uh, MyFair Ultralight C and they have 192 bytes of space to write on. So you can do a lot of stuff with these. And then you're probably asking yourself, well, what's the difference? Why, why not just use these? Well, because with these, you only get the ID. And you have to program your phone what to do with this ID. With the one that you can program, you can automate the ta tasks and give the tag some information that any phone uh, that uh, scans the tag can have. So that's the difference. So if you're only using this for your personal use, you can basically use these uh, NFC tags that are just, just available uh, and laying around. Alright, so uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments. Um, I, I would love to hear some feedback. If you experimented with other NFC chips, I would also appreciate if you'd thumb up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.